I'm a, a Japanese brush painter. Basically, my technique is uh, based on the traditional skills and traditional like brush painting like techniques. What I'm doing is, is something like combining with traditional art with uh, contemporary art. I want to combine with the traditional style of Japanese brush painting with now 2019 or 2018, whatever, what I'm doing, what I'm living in Japan, and what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing right now around surroundings of me. And then I want to put that essence into the traditional culture of traditional like brush painting style. And then because it's like in the Edo era, it's like traditional Japanese art wasn't traditional was really fresh and new. So I want to put that essence into back into the, the, the future now. Then I, I want to mix it with the um, traditional classic style with the um, 2019. I really wait and then I really put myself neutralized. I want to stand myself like straight into the air, like head to the sky. So I like stand up, like or sit straight, and then I can feel my body neutral. Then I suddenly like lots of inspiration come up, pop up into my brain. So I don't do any like specific th things to do to get the inspiration. My feeling is like um, zen or more athlete or like martial art feeling. And I was really like being struggled artist for when I was young. At the, um, I started doing the live painting in the nightclub, like with the more electric sound, and then people dancing, drinking, and then I, I did the live performance in front of them. So that's why I met the, uh, all the different type of people, like for example, like fashion, the people from fashion scenes, and the people from the movie after scenes, and like those kind of people, like made me a lot of chances and like lots of inspirations and then those kind of people gave me the, um, the different stage and the different chance to work out with. So I met the, uh, the stylist guy who is already, who has the fame already and then like we became big friends and then like we were doing the uh, uh, Japanese kimono, we were making Japanese kimono with, with the Japanese paper. So I painted on it, and then like wear them on on the uh, the, the fashion models, and then shooting on the cover of a magazine. Or yeah, those kind of things is really works with um, to to make people realize Japanese people is not the classic stuff. It's still kind of like cool. The painting of kimono, or painting of the paper dress, those kind of things, is really a um, good chance to meet, like hook up with the um, high brand, like a Christian Dior or like top brand Audi or uh, Ferrari. At the beginning, I I believe I shouldn't change the, the, the way I've learned from my master. So I didn't change it for over 10 years. The moment I met the, the, the people like from the different world, such as like stylists, fashion scene people or actors, and like, they asked me, how long are you going to do the same thing? It's kind of like same for all the time. And then I was shocked, really shocked. And then I, I was really, that word is just struck into my mind. And like my brain was like corrupts and then like open completely. <laughs> then next moment I using like 
the marker pen, then like, you know, painting the English word all over the, my painting. And like, I use the colors, like splash into my, my artwork. And then like, that moment was really breakthrough. I, I start not dividing like a traditional and contemporary. So I was, it was like a really good mix in moment. The traditional culture is, is going through from old age, but lots of lots of essence from the different masters is put them into the stream. So that is the very important things to, to keep the art interest for the new people. So if only the, uh, the keeping the, the saving the, the, the mainstream of, of traditional art, which is kind of boring, it doesn't make the new stream. So I want to put the new essence to the stream and then to make the stream fresh. That's what I'm doing.